Hello everybody, KJ back with another episode of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last episode, we um, started off our journey by finding out that Plankton, this guy right here, um, yeah, we found out that um, his restaurant, the Chum Bucket, um, was overrun by robots. I don't think Spongebob knows that, but... Whatever, but like, so robots invaded, actually no, so robots were at the chum bucket because Plankton created them and then they trashed the place, they threw them out, and now they're destroying Bikini Bottom, and so we started our journey and now we've got to deal with the robots and go into our first level of the game, Jellyfish Fields. We also explored this big plaza area here, this main part of Bikini Bottom. We also got everything we could in this area, so we're just gonna go and start the first area. Press button to travel to be to jellyfish fields. Let's get to it, our first level. And we got a taxi too, nice! Okay, I'm excited. First level of the game, or first proper level, I guess. I don't know if Bikini Bottom counts as a level or not, but I mean it's more of like the main hub area in some way. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw. And sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Ah! Ah! Oh, right. oh no! Run, Squidward! Run! Oh, come on. So there's our first robot. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! <laughs> I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, Severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of king jellyfish jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> king j -j jellyfish Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself! Alright, there we go. There's our first mission here at Jellyfish Fields. This place is so cool. This game is so well animated and designed. Like, this is a really great game. So, if you don't know, I did say it in the last episode, but for those who don't know, this is a game that was remade. This is the remake of the game from, of the original Battle for Bikini Bottom, re of the original Battle for Bikini Bottom from GameCube. And so, yeah, it got remade and there were a lot, and I mean a lot of graphic updates, as you can see. It's a really detailed game, I really love like opening presents. Okay. We can get some tiki's and I guess we can also travel back to Bikini Bottom whenever we feel like it, so... Pretty. Can't take it. So we need to go get the thing for Squidward. Let's go to it. Uh, there's another thing we can uppercut. Is there anything? Oh! Alright, there's our first robot defeated. Uh, can we... Oh! Oh, can we? Oh! We can take out the jellyfish. Okay. Um, what's here? This is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall into the goo. Okay. I'm sort of tempted to find out what- wait, then why- wait, then why is there a sock out there? I 
I bet I, can I reach that? This is a teleport box. When you have both of the teleport boxes in the area open, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. Okay. Well, if I can't get, if I can't touch the goo, then why is there a sock? I'm gonna go for it. Oh. I see, okay. So, don't do that. Got it. So, if I can't get that, then how am I supposed, how am I supposed to get that sock if I can't get it from, oh, the Tiki's respawn, nice. And we keep the shiny objects we collected already. So we can just reopen the Tiki's and get more, ooh. Feels like cheating, but same time, uh, I do need as many as I can to give Mr. Krabs, to give to Mr. Krabs so I can get a spatula. But here's our first box. We got it open. Uh, let's see here. We can't jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. Alright, you can grab... Whoa, a lot of stuff, as well as, um, some underwear, which we don't need, because we're on full health. Uh, what else is here? There's another jellyfish. Oh. I've heard, oh, there he is. Okay, got him. I see some underwear over there, but let's take out you first, and I see something back here. Fresh like a spring breeze. I don't know why it's organized like this. Can I get up? I can't get up there, but... It looks like there's something here. Oh, yes! I think that's a sock. So there's another sock, and for every 10 we get, we um, get a golden spatula if we bring them back to Patrick, so uh, I think we need six more, and then we're there. And we're on full underwear, so we can just continue on. We can break more tiki's. Ooh, I see something. Um, what is this? Just jumping on tiki's. Okay, nice. Yeah, I don't know how to get that this sock that's out there in the ocean. Oh, oops. Okay, well, there I go. Whew, okay. Well, I think we keep the stuff. If we keep the shiny objects we collected, then I bet we kept the. Oh back here, but, yeah, we kept the sock, okay, there are so many tiki's, okay, so, we only need, we only need a little over 2,000 more, so, that was fast how quickly, that was fast how quickly we got all those, pay 125 shiny objects to rebuild the bridge, okay, Ooh, okay. So I guess some actions also require, um, uh, shiny objects to perform, so, oh, so, okay, I almost fell right back into the water. Um, this is a checkpoint. If you are defeated after activating a checkpoint, you will restore at the checkpoint instead of starting at the beginning of the area. Got it. Um, what else is here? Uh, see something. I don't need underwear, but I see something. Can I... Oh, can I jump up there by jumping into this tree? 
I can't jump into the street. I guess I could just go the regular route for now and see what I find. Or maybe I should... I might leave some of these, because you never know what you can need. This is a freezy fruit. Only Patrick can use the freezy fruit. Oh. Okay. Oh! Um. I could be wrong, but I think that this freezy fruit has something to do with getting across that goo. Again, I could be wrong. Got a trampoline. More uh, shiny objects. Oh, almost. I want to slam down on that. There we go. Ultra combo. Um, what else is there? There's more tiki's and more shiny objects. Oh, SpongeBob is really powerful. We can just destroy essentially everything. Um... What's this? Oh! Island, okay. So now we can jump across. There we go. Another find for Patrick! Another sock, I'll take it! Uh, it doesn't seem like there's much else here, so... Ooh, more special shiny objects. And a trampoline back! Yee. Okay. Um... There's more stuff to destroy. I think, I think there's more enemies than just the small robot with the wand. There's probably more. Yeah. Ow. What are even the ah. Ow. Oh, they're pufferfish. Oh, I'm being attacked by pufferfish. I need to go get some underwear. I feel like a new sponge. Here we go. Okay. Ow. Ow. No, don't. So, okay, they knock you really far back. Wait, there... Looks like they're out. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna destroy it out. Get out of here. There we go. Finally. Okay. Hey, Gary, what's shaking? Ooh, Gary! SpongeBob so much. I also really like Gary. He's a really cool character. Fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah. That pufferfish segment took out a lot of health, so we should probably. Uh, no, I am definitely going to get more underwear. What is this? This is a bungee jump. SpongeBob can bungee from it. To bungee from the bungee hook. The bungee hook. Just jump up and touch it. To dive downward, press A. To exit the bungee hook, press B. Okay. Whoa! Um, oh, there's a special. Okay. I want to make sure we got everything. I think we did. Okay, let's go. There we go! That's actually our first golden spatula of the episode. Uh, so now we're at four. What else is there? There's King Jellyfish sign. What did that do? Oh, platforms. Oh, platforms all the way around, okay. 
There's another checkpoint. I don't think we missed... Oh, almost died. I don't think we missed anything else. Oh, whoa. Poor fish! That poor fish! What was that? Okay, I guess that answers my question if we get any more robot types. Okay. Hey, are you okay? I am so sorry. I do not know what got into that robot. Um, what else is here? More cheekies. More. I feel like a new sponge. More stuff. What's up here? Is there anything up here? Ooh. Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if we can get up there or not. Probably not. That was probably just a cool secret. Um. Hmm. Can we... I bet we need to get into those trampoline things. Mm. Oh, almost. Okay. Oh, I bet maybe from this tree. Okay, if I can position myself right. positive that this is something we can do. But the problem is, is that you get, by the time you get close enough, you don't have enough height. Ugh. Okay. Maybe from a different point, I can jump from there. Here's some more underwear that I don't need. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, what? What? No, I can jump that. I can jump into the tree. What do you mean I can't? The game... I can jump that, for the record. I am 100% able to jump that. But, yeah. The game, the game just doesn't think that I can do that. Because it has to be the boss of this. Um, I don't see anything else. There's this bowling thing. Ooh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I guess we get... SpongeBob needs to know the bubble bowling move in order to play this game. Oh. Okay. Alright, um, okay, maybe from here, I can, okay, no way that I can't jump into that. There's, come on. Come on, really? If not from there, then where do I start? If I can't cheat, then I gotta go the normal way, but where is the normal way? And there's another ultra combo. Oh, maybe it's these. Oh, whoa, whoa. More jellyfish. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Why can't I jump there? SpongeBob has such a good jump in other areas, and yet he doesn't know in the areas where it really does count. It's very stupid.
Um, what is this? Another little mini game for underwear that I don't need, so I'm just gonna grab some more shiny objects. We're almost halfway. This is goo. This is, yeah, I know, okay. So they can't go into the goo. You've just met the Spongeinator. Oh, Terminator reference! A little surprising why they would reference something as dark out. Something as dark as Terminator in SpongeBob, but still. Um, what is this is just for Fresh like a spring not even, breeze. Oh, not even for a sock. I just died for a pair of underwear. A pair of underwear that I probably would have gotten back if I died. So you know. Thanks, game. Like, make, put a sock there or something. A sock would fit in way better. with the big pieces of ham have, um, the guys with the big pieces of ham drop a lot more shiny objects than the other robots. Okay, here we go, finally. This is the top of the, um, so this is top of the bungee jump, okay. Just a little propeller. And more shiny objects for the way back. Here we go. This is a teleport box. Yeah, okay, so there's our final teleport box. And now we can go back and forth between the main area and higher up area of Jellyfish Fields. That machine huffing and puffing over there is a Duplicate Tron 1000. The D1000 will continue to re create robots until it is destroyed. Be careful though, it'll, it goes out with a big bang. Okay. So, I can get rid of the box. Do they, do they still drop shiny objects, or, oh. they still drop shiny objects, this is a really easy way to get shiny objects. Okay. Um, there we go. Oh. So it blows up, and now, we've got, we've only, we only need 2,000 more, and then we'll have all the, shiny objects we need for a golden spatula for Mr. Krabs. What do we... How is our progress on this area? Three out of 14 socks! Okay. That's... Wow. So we got the bungee jump one. We still need to get top of the hill. Okay. Um... Oh, there we go! There's our fifth spatula! Alright, um, press the button to travel to Jellyfish Caves. Okay, I'm going to do that in the next episode, because I've had a lot of fun exploring this area of Jellyfish Fields, but that did take a pretty long time to climb all the way up here, so I'm gonna save the next part of Jellyfish Fields for the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, if you guys and gals, enjoy this one. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you all later in episode three. Goodbye.